How does fragment analysis work? And why would one perform fragment analysis in their lab? Stay tuned. Fragment analysis refers to a genetic analysis technique used for a wide variety of applications such as mutation detection, genotyping, DNA profiling, genetic mapping, and linkage analysis. Various diseases, conditions, and chromosomal abnormalities are detected by this method. Traditionally, the DNA fragments are separated by size in a separation matrix like agarose or polyacrylamide gels. Fragment sizes can be determined by comparing to a size standard. And then, fragments are visualized and detected either by labeling them during or after the slab gel, electrophoresis, using bethidium bromide dyes or radioisotopes. But I think you would probably prefer doing something safer like automated capillary electrophoresis, which uses fluorescent dyes and separates with higher resolution and higher accuracy. Let's take a look at our lab book. To run fragment analysis on a capillary electrophoresis system, you can design probes and primers to flank your region of interest. Typically, fluorescent dyes are attached to the primers or probes, and the fragments are amplified by PCR before the electrophoresis. The latter is usually labeled with a color that is different than the colors of the fragments. The labeled PCR products and the size markers are then electrokinetically injected into the capillaries. During electrophoresis, the negatively charged DNA fragments moves from the cathode through the polymer-filled capillary towards the positively charged anode when high voltage is applied between the electrodes. The really cool thing about fragment analysis is that you can multiplex, meaning you can have multiple fragments in a reaction well going through the same capillary. The smaller fragments usually run faster, and the bigger ones run slower. Shortly before reaching the positive electrode, the fluorescently labeled DNA fragments separate by size, moving through the path of the laser beam. The laser beam causes the dyes on the fragments to fluoresce at different emission wavelengths. A CCD camera detects the fluorescence, and the fluorescence intensities are digitalized, color-coded, and displayed as peaks in the electropharogram. Now that seems pretty neat, right? But what's even more amazing are the various applications for which you can use fragment analysis. One great example is a single nucleotide polymorphism, or SNP genotyping. The Snapshot Multiplex Kit can investigate up to 10 SNP markers simultaneously by using primers of different lengths. The primers are designed to anneal to the sequencing adjacent to the 10 different SNPs. Once the primer anneals, the single base extension occurs by the addition of complementary dye terminator, or DDNTP, to the annealed primer. Each of the four DDNTPs is fluorescently labeled with a different color dye. The result is marker fragments for the different SNP alleles that are all the same length, but that vary by color. I hope this video was helpful on fragment analysis, and I'm sure you'll have more questions. So submit your questions at thermofisher.com forward slash ask and subscribe to our channel to see more videos. And remember, when in doubt, seek it out.